G'day and welcome back to Duck Solar Gaming and another FS22 mod review. Today we are reviewing the 1.4 update to Black Dragon's Dragon Den Pack. Now, just for clarity, this is for PC and Mac only. Okay, I say again, PC and Mac only. It is available exclusively from simplysafemods.com. Uh, when you go there and download it, tell Jerry we sent you, as in Grizzly Bear Sims. Anyway, let's get into it. So this is, like I said, the 1.4 update for the Dragon Den pack, and it's got some additions to the pack, which is just fantastic. So Black Dragon has taken it from the good production pack it was in the initial release, and obviously a couple of updates thereof with, with the orchards and the fruit processing facility and the additions to the bakery and things like that. Well, we've stepped it up a notch now, and we've now got a butchery. So you can just imagine what that's going to do. All right. So, yes, we've now got the ability to take chickens, sheep, beef, as in cows, and pigs all to the butchery and create various products from the butchery, which is the big building in front of us, the big yellow and white building. We'll just uh, head on over there and have a bit of a look-see. So this building here is the butchery, the big one. Okay, so we've got the butchery there. That's the only new building per se, apart from the silo here, the buy silo. Now, the reason why we have a buy silo is we have um, food salt we need to use as well for some of the recipes. And the only place we can get the food salt from is from that silo. So we need to install that as well. All right, we then have the factory over here. So we're just going to go through and review what we've got out here and why we've got it here. So the factory uh, previously produced our salad, our fruit salad, um, our brown sugar, it now produces a whole lot more as well. So we'll get into that in a second. Uh, then over here we have the bakery, uh, which has been updated. We have the tailor, which has been updated. The carpentry shop, which has been updated. And also the oil mill has been updated with extra recipes. Right, so what are those recipes and uh, what do we need to do for it? Well, let's get right into it. Okay, first off, we're going to have a look at the actual individual products and what we've now got as available outputs from Dragon Den Pack. Now, we said about the meat products, and we'll start there in the middle, so that's nice and simple. So what we have now is our chickens will provide us with drumsticks, wings, whole chicken, tenderloins, and animal fat. Our sheep will provide us with mutton, uh, and also there was something else, but I can't remember. I haven't got there. Maybe the sausages. I can't remember. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, we've also got ground beef, steak, bacon, ham, which obviously is coming from the pigs, and we have leather. So leather actually comes from the sheep, the pigs, and the cows. Okay, so that's from the butchery, which is good. All right, over here we have a couple of other things. So we have leather, right? So that's all well and good. We also now have leather clothes. So the leather clothes go, so you take the leather from the butchery, to the tailor shop and put that in there and with I think cotton um, we can create leather clothes we'll have a look at the recipes for all these in a second we also have at the tailor stuffed animals now stuffed animals we can do with either cotton uh, or uh, wool and um, I think it was a bit of leather as well we'll have to have a look at that again but um, we've got stuffed animals as an output as well and they just they're a new end product we've got to sell the carpentry shop has toys. Now, the, the beautiful thing about this is, if you remember on Elm Creek, for those that have played Elm Creek, the collectibles are a whole bunch of toys. So the toys that he's created in the Dragon's Den pack are the toys that you find all around the Elm Creek uh, map. So that is fantastic. I reckon that is that is really, really good. So well done. Attention to detail and an immersion. It's, it's really, really good. We also have a chocolate cake, so that's in addition to the bakery. So the chocolate cake, obviously to make the chocolate cake, you're going to use chocolate instead of using strawberries and cream or whatever else. So that's, we'll get to that as well in a minute. We have corn oil now as well. Now this is from the oil factory. Um, so we've got canola oil, olive oil. Um, what's the other one? Canola oil, olive oil, um, sunflower oil, and now we've got corn oil. I was having a mental blank. Ugly every time of the day. Right, back over here again. So from the factory, we now have all these products. And there's multiple different recipes for some of these. So we have pasta and pasta sauce. We have potato chips. We have mozzarella sticks. We have garlic bread. We have popcorn and we have French fries. So some of the products rely on products from other um, production chains. So the mozzarella sticks and the garlic bread. So the mozzarella sticks require cheese and bread so something from the bakery something from the dairy 
The garlic bread requires the garlic coming from the greenhouses. It requires bread coming from the bakery. And it requires cheese, I think it was as well, coming from the dairy. Okay? And there's other stuff as well. So we'll have a look at all of this in the production of each of the units in the menu. So we can actually go through it all. But that's the new range of products. So on top of that, with all the other products that we're making already with the Dragon Den Pack, there's probably well over, what's that, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. There's well and truly over 50 different goods that we can now make thanks to Black Dragon and the Dragon Den Pack. All in one. All in one pack. Seamless. Excellent. All right, let's go and have a look at the menus and we'll see what we can make. All right, so we're going to go down here. We're going to go into our production menus, production chains, and we're going to look at it from here. Now, one thing to remember too, uh, or want to point out, is with this update, there has been a slight change to a couple of different things. So there's been a, a change to the price for selling of the uh, fruit processing facility items, so the jams and the juices. That's been lowered a little bit, around 20%. Um, and there is going to be ongoing um, adjustments that have been going to be done by Black Dragon to adjust it, to settle it down so it's actually not too high, too low, whatever else. Um, and I certainly do my own uh, adjustments as well. And um, it's, it's good like that. So it is it is going to keep on going. There is even more stuff that Black Dragon is going to add to the mod as well. So that's not stopping here as well. So bear that in mind. All right. So as you can see here, the butcher. So the incoming materials, chickens, cows. We have the Swiss brown, the Holstein, the limousine, and the Angus. So all four types of cows. We have the land race, the black pied, and the Berkshire pigs. We have the land race, the Stein shaft, the Swiss mountain, and the black Welsh sheep as well. Okay? So that's what's producing um, the goods. Now, outgoing products, as we said before, chicken breast, drumsticks, wings, tenderloin. They're obviously all from chickens and animal fat. Oh, and whole chicken, of course. We then have ground beef, steak, and leather coming from the cows. We have bacon, sausage, ham, and then mutton from the sheep. Okay? So if we go through all these, we'll actually have a look and see what we do. So chicken processing. One chicken will produce two tenderloins. Oh, sorry, two chicken breast, two drumstick, two wings, six tenderloins, and two fat, animal fat. Okay? Not bad. That's exactly what you expect. You wouldn't expect anything more than two drumsticks or two wings, of course. Whole chicken, one chicken to one whole chicken. Chicken's done. Cow processing. So cows will get ground beef, steak, animal fat, and leather. And that's the same for all the cows, okay? They don't, they don't vary by type of cow. So that is excellent. For the pigs, put in pig, we get in bacon, sausage, ham, animal fat, and leather, okay? Again, same for all three. And for the sheep, we get our mutton, we get animal fat, and we get uh, leather. Nice and simple. That's excellent. So obviously, animal fat at the moment doesn't have a use it, that I can recall. Um, we'll have a look in a second. But it probably will in the future, so don't worry about that. You can sell it in the, in the, in the meantime. Okay, next off is the factory. So as we said before, the factory previously had brown sugar, fruit salad, fruit salad without grapes, and salad. Well, now we have a whole pile of stuff. We have the mozzarella sticks, potato chips, french fries, pasta sauce, pasta, and popcorn. And let's go through those and have a look. So the garlic bread takes garlic, butter, so garlic from the greenhouse, butter from the dairy, cheese from the dairy, and bread from the bakery to produce our garlic bread, okay? So we're using what was end production chain material and making it into further material, okay? Mozzarella sticks. Cheese and bread to make the mozzarella sticks. Nice and simple. Potato chips, three different recipes. So potato, sunflower oil, and food salt. This is where the food salt comes in. We'll make potato chips. Or alternatively, you can use potato, canola oil, and salt. Or alternatively, you can use um, potato, olive oil, and salt to make potato chips. Uh, I've actually made one of my own, which I'm actually going to use the corn oil as well. So I've actually got the four because we've got now got the corn oil. But anyway, um, French fries, potatoes, sunflower oil, food salt, potatoes, canola oil, food salt. Okay. The pasta sauce, we can do two olive oil, 
Onion from the greenhouse, garlic from the greenhouse, tomato from the greenhouse, and a little bit of butter. A little smidge of butter makes our pasta sauce. Alternatively, same recipe with the canola oil to make the pasta sauce. To make the pasta, we need the flour, we need eggs, and we need oil. So we've got olive oil and we've got canola oil. See a bit of a pattern, olive oil and canola oil? Right. Popcorn. Corn, butter, salt. Nice and simple. But again, it's tying more products into the production chain. Loving it. Okay, the bakery. As we said, the new product to the bakery is the chocolate cake. So the chocolate cake, similar to the cake, the cake takes flour, sugar, milk, butter, uh, eggs, and strawberries, whereas the chocolate cake takes all the same except swap the strawberries out for chocolate. Okay? So again, taking one of the end production run items from the dairy and putting it into another, another chain, another production chain. Okay. Uh, next, we have the toys at the carpenter shop. So we take five planks, and that'll produce six toys plus some wood chips. Okay? Nice and simple. For the oil plant, we now have the corn oil. Five corn will produce two corn oil. And lastly, as part of the changes, we've got at the tailor shop the leather clothes. Two leather makes one leather clothes or one leather jacket, I tend to call it. And the stuffed animals, yeah, that's right, fabric and wool will make um, stuffed toys or alternatively fabric and cotton will make the stuffed toys. All right, I think that's primarily all the changes that have come in with 1.4. And if I've missed one or two, I apologise, but I don't think I have. Uh, but that is it. That is that is the 1.4 production pack, and I am ecstatic with it. I really think that's fantastic. So... Uh, all in one, um, and it just ties everything in nicely. Dragon Den pack is is an awesome addition. I'm using it on all my saves. Uh, I strongly encourage you to use it as well. And, of course, um, it is going to continue to grow. So a big kudos to Black Dragon. I remind you again, it is available exclusively from simplysafemods.com. Uh, if you download it anywhere else, you're not getting it from the original author's link. Um, so don't get it from there. Go to simplysafemods.com. And every mod you get off simplysafemods.com is safe from the author directly. None of this uh, arbitrary copying of links and all that sort of stuff there. Um, so go check it out. Anyway, again, big kudos and many thanks to a Black Dragon uh, for all his work and effort in getting this pack and keeping it going. Looking forward to the next update. And I hope you've enjoyed this mod review or mod update review more accurately of the 1.4 update to the Dragon Den pack. Again, it's exclusively simplysafemods.com and it's PC, Mac only. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, press that like button. If you didn't, press the dislike button. Please consider subscribing to the channel as well and also press that alarm notification icon. But apart from anything else, take care of yourselves and loved ones and we'll see you again very, very soon. Back here at Ducks All Gaming and another FS22 mod review. See you later. Bye. Thank you.